Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Open Broadcaster onto Windows 10. So let's go to Google Chrome <coughs> and we'll type in Open Broadcaster and we'll click on this website here called obsproject.com and we've got Windows, Mac and Linux. So select the relevant operating system. Now this is normally the piece of software I use to create video tutorials like this. I'm actually using another bit of software because I don't have this installed on this machine. But I want to get this installed today. So we will click on Windows here. And we'll wait for this software to download. It's about 60 megs, so it'll take a few seconds to download. And that's it, it's done. So we'll click this button here to launch the application. We can minimize this window for the moment. And we'll just wait for the software to launch. And then we're just going to follow the basic on-screen on screen instructions. So we'll click next, next, agree. This is all default. We'll install the software. And that's it, we're good to go. So normally as default, I'll go to my computer here, find OBS and drag and drop it. It's already pinned actually, it's here. So we can just launch it from here or from the desktop. And normally I, I don't have, you can see my desktop is very clean. I don't ever store, store very little on my desktop. I only ever store things temporarily then move them into a relevant directory. So let's just launch the software. So here we can see the software. So what's this all about? Here you can see the microphone, so as I'm talking it's recording, well it's not recording actually, it's just showing me the microphone level. Above that is the desktop audio, so if I were to click here and move this, you'll see the top one will move as well. Because it's picking up the, de the actual computer audio, and this is the microphone audio. So, I found a few problems when I installed this software, the, the audio quality wasn't very good for some reason. And I had to really sit down and do some investigating, I, I googled everywhere and I really couldn't find a solution. So just for experimenting I managed to fix this problem. So you might face the same problem uh, when, you look, when you install this software. So there's a few things that I normally do as default. I go to file and settings and underneath audio, make sure it's set to 48 hertz. So that will always give you a slightly better audio uh, sample rate so it just sound a bit clearer than 44.1 so set it to 48 hertz here and then just click the apply button once you've done that and then go to video and just make sure that your screen resolutions are relevant but this should be fine normally I'm actually running ultra wide monitors but as default I set the desktop to 1080p when I do a video tutorial because most people will have that sort of resolution 1080p HD and that will transfer well to 720p for example as well so that's kind of the resolution I use to record all my videos when I'm doing tutorials so that's something kind of slightly different um, I'll look at that in a second so in output you've got your default directory where the videos are going to be stored and what I normally set it to is this third option which is quality high quality large file size but it's you know you can do it as lossless but that'll be really really big so I would set it to this third option to get the quality really good. So when you do your editing, it will look fine. And then um, definitely try and use hardware encoding wherever you can, because it's just going to help uh, with the encoding. Everything else I leave as default. You know, pretty much everything else in here. You can change the color theme if you want. There's, you know, these other themes. I just leave it as default. This is good for me. So I click apply and click OK. Now there's a couple of other things I do. The biggest problem I found is I've got a USB microphone. So I'm not sure how it will work with a normal jack microphone into your computer, but with USB I had a real problem. And I figured it out in the end that you need to go to Windows Control Panel. And this was a real pain to figure out, but what you need to do is go to Hardware and Sound. So let me just go back, click on this Hardware and Sound, click on Sound here. And then you'll get to these options here and then click on Recording. And you'll see the microphone here, right? And if I go to properties, uh, let me see, and then go to levels. So click on the microphone, go to properties and click on levels. As default, my microphone was set to something like this here, like around 50%. And you'll notice that as I'm talking, the microphone level is quite low down here. So set the microphone all the way up to 100%. And then click apply and click OK. And hopefully 
that will fix any sort of audio issues that you might be facing with this this particular software my audio was sounding a bit scratchy and it wasn't sounding very clear and i think that was the main reason why when i switched it to 100 percent you can see the levels are quite clear and they're quite high you don't really want anything hitting this sort of yellow and red section um, and this black line that's moving that will be really the the level that's capturing at the moment so sit a consistent dis distance away from your microphone would also help um, to keep the audio levels stable the last thing i would do is click on this cog and go to filters when i go to filters you let me just remove this so this is already here so i'll remove it so i'm going to click add and then i'm going to click uh, noise suppression here and i set the noise suppression so if you see if i set it all the way to the top and don't say anything but watch this um this bar here You can see, even though I'm not saying anything, the bar is still moving. So what this is, is the microphone is quite sensitive because we set it to 100%. And it's picking up like background noise from the computer. Or even if I click my mouse. You see it's quite, it's quite sensitive. So we use this noise suppression and set it to something around 0, minus 9. And this will help to reduce any sort of background noise from your computer fans or anything like that in the background that you can hear this will help to suppress those noises um, and the microphone will pick, pick up just your voice quite clearly so you can see the microphone won't really you won't really hear anything if I say nothing now you can see the levels will drop right down low So experiment with this um, noise suppression to get that microphone sitting stable. It, it won't always be perfect, but you want it to be as stable as possible. And not zero, minus 9 dB seems to work for me. So I'm going to close this. Um, and I'm going to do a separate tutorial on this actual software of how, to, how you can actually make your own video tutorials using this software. I'll do that as a separate tutorial. This tutorial is ready to get you set up with the software and also show you some default settings and sort out your microphone um, and see how you get on with this software. So join me in the next tutorial where I will actually show you how to create a video tutorial just like I do for all my video tutorials on my YouTube channel. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.